I'm still thinking about how evil lovely Kirumi was in, at the end of the last trial. She was rightly called out for trying to guilt the others into sacrificing themselves for her. I, I don't know if that's a sign of how dedicated she is to, to her role or... I don't know. Do you think it was evil? I, I kind of feel like, like it was evil. <sighs> I don't know. Well, why don't we continue forward and Danganronpa V3, everyone. Let's see what happens next. It was the day after the second class trial. We all headed to Annoying Maki's lab on the third floor of the school building. Yeah, because she got called out for being not the ultimate child caregiver, which is a very strange title to have, very strange talent, but for actually being the ultimate assassin. And I'm pretty sure I was right before. Like The reason she didn't want anyone going into her lab the entire time is because what's in the lab did not actually match up with what she told everyone her talent was. So let's see. I'm pretty sure I'm right. And awaiting us there was an unexpected sight. Yeah, this looks about right. Come on, man. What the heck is this? It's like weapon warehouse. You know, I was expecting a lot of red for some reason. Like red curtains or something. I don't know why. Also, by assassin, I was imagining knives and swords and stuff. Well, I don't know why, I don't know why swords, but knives, you know. But an assassin can, can use anything, even poison. Right? See, I told you she's not the ultimate child caregiver. How did you know this, though? She's the ultimate assassin. Maki is the ultimate assassin? Is that all right? Kokichi. You learned that from the motive video, right? Oh, okay, that, that explains it. Monokuma said everyone's ultimate talent at the beginning of their video. Ryoma knew Maki's true identity because he had her motive video. And because you saw that. Mm -hmm. I knew the whole time. Given my, I kind of figured he might. Given my position, I'd obviously know before any of you, right? Your position? Yeah, the ultimate evil overlord, remember? Ah. Oh, don't worry about it. That was a lie. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, her reaction yesterday pretty much gave away that she's the ultimate assassin. Yeah, she did that. Yeah, you can probably snap my neck like a twig right now. But that's not your style. You would rather kill from the shadows, right, Miss Ultimate Assassin? Hmm. But why ever did she lie about, about being the ultimate child caregiver? Because she's an assassin, why would she tell everyone? It makes it hard to assassinate people. Because <laughs> assassins hide to do all their killing. Very good, Mew. Here's some candy. If people find out they're assassins, they get all cautious and they can't kill anyone. It can't be. Did she hide her real identity because she's planning to kill us? Uh, maybe. Or well, maybe she didn't want to. I don't know. Maybe she deep down she wanted friends and didn't want to alienate anyone. Hmm. But then, why hasn't she killed anyone yet? She had so many opportunities to do so. She had many opportunities to do Whatever. Jeez, robots can't even understand human feelings, let alone a girl's heart. All right, but at the same time... That's not what I wanted. Yes, Sumigi also didn't know why she didn't kill anyone. 
Please take back what you just said. I can't, I can't too understand human feelings. Listen closely. But I'm still in the process of collecting data. Please give me data. Please. Right? Right, calm down now. If you're so worried, why don't you ask her? She's been holed up in her room all day. But I can't promise that she won't try to kill you like she tried to do to me. Eh. I doubt that. You even said that she wouldn't do it because that's not her style. But she could have crippled you. I mean, that, that would have been just as good. <laughs> good thing everyone was there to stop her. But what about next time? I got two assistants. Best let sleeping gods lie. Shut up. <laughs> the talent of a killer. That is the biggest threat to all of us who wish to survive. Hey! Let's just lock her up somewhere so she can't kill anyone. I'll leave that to you, good guy Gonta. Huh? But... Got it. I'll have two. I don't want another killing to happen. Tenko looks like Josie from Tekken 7. Like that... I mentioned a, a long while ago that Tenko looks like a character from Tekken. She looks like Josie. Anyway. Wait! You don't have to take it that far. It's not just trying to kill us. Is the way to go. We have to strike before the she does. Hit her from behind. Eh, I don't know about her. You Tenko, maybe. Mew. Kaede. Anyone else? Maybe Sumigi. I don't know. It depends on what I find from online. Sneak attack? Struck before she does? Shouldn't Aikido Master be saying those things? Yeah. I think it's fine. It'll be okay. If that's the case, then... Oh my God. Then Atuil and I will work with everyone to uphold the peace. That's fine. If so, then I'll cheer you on. I'll use my magic to pull pom-poms out of my mouth. What, what will that do, non-magical girl Himiko? That kind of peppy cheer magic would make anyone excited. Don't worry about it. Hold on, guys. Leave annoying Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. <laughs> Ultimate assassin, my ass. Always messing around. Dude, look at everything around you. I saw guns lining both walls. And look at everything. What's that behind? Is that a, is that a, a shooting gallery? It is. Kaito, don't do anything stupid. Okay. Oh, let's leave everything to Kaito. You get it? Gonta, should, you should stand back. Nothing good ever happens when you try to help. Huh? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Don't listen oh, to him. Man. Hey, Gonta. Like I told you, man. Like, like, like I told you. A man shouldn't, ha shouldn't apologize so easy. Oh, now what? Oh! I don't know everyone's usual reactions. Time's a bit time's a bit of a factor here. Monokuma! Everyone, get behind Gonta. Himiko, get behind me. I'll surround you with my body to keep you safe. I said I don't need your usual reactions. <laughs> it's almost half time, so the stats should be out soon for everyone to obsess over. If I'm right. This would be like the first two games where there are about six or five chapters, not that including the prologue. So this is chapter three. So yeah, we're, we're about there. Since you guys overcame the class trial, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. Is it more ac access to more parts of the school? Hey. I said. I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. Yes, and I asked you if it was more access to more parts of the school. Huh? My adorable little cubs aren't coming? That's strange. Maybe they're afraid of you. Oh, here we go. Only three of them. They're finally here! Yay! You're so cute today. It's practically obscene. Seriously? Just wow. You guys are seriously cute. Have you always been this cute? 
this shock of my super cute kids seems to be making me go bald. Oh, that makes no sense. Oh. Like in patches. Yeah, I don't like that. Go, go back. <laughs> He's actually balding. Oh, gross. Ugh. I I'm cold. Very cold. Hey, my cute little cubs. Could you hurry up and give them the prize? It's too cold. I can't stand it. Hurry. I want to go somewhere warm. You know, like... Next to Mew. Or in between Mews. Um. Will somebody talk? Oh, it's Fur's back now. Huh? What's wrong? Why aren't you backing me up? Father, uh-oh. We are not your slaves. I don't like where this is going. We will not let you use us anymore. From now on, I will be calling the shots. Oh, jeez, it's, it's a mutiny. <laughs> Good one, kids. Very funny. You can show me where the hidden cameras are now. <laughs> Father, you're too old for this. You've been doing this so long, you become predictable. Well, I mean, this is the, you know, the fourth game. Third main game, fourth game overall in the series. I think. I mean, I think Byakuya and, um... Kyoko had side games. I, I'll double check. They, they had novels made for them. I, I'll double check. But I think Kyoko has like a, a mobile game in Japan or something. I don't know. Is the age of the on uh, monocubs now. Out with the old, in with the new. That reminds me of that scene in Lord of the Rings when the orc killed that one guy. The age of man is over. Now it is the age of the orcs. I'm not a big Lord of the Rings fan, so I don't know who was who. Because the guy looked familiar, too. I, I'm pretty sure I've seen him before. I don't I don't remember what his name was. And I have no idea that Orc who killed him had a name. He probably did, though. Anyway. But what about all of the longtime fans who... Anyway, you're just a has-been. Why don't you just retire somewhere and work in your tan? Hey, Saint... Seeing this right to Junko's face. Is she even actually involved this time around? I hope she is. H has been? Good job, you two. You memorized my script perfectly. D do you really think you can defy your dad? Do you think I'd forgive such... Oh. Oh. I don't think you can kill Monokuma that easily, though. Who would have thought Mono Dam would turn out like this? Step aside, Father. So, are we gonna ally with Monokuma now? It can't be. No way. Are you saying that treating you like kids, like like my property, was what? Why would it be right? You're the worst of the worst. It's completely and utterly wrong. You tell him, thick thigh, Tenko. No. No. No! No, 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 no way! Oh, there goes his fur again. Even some of his muzzle is gone. Yeah, he's bald again. It seems the shock made him bald. This time, for good. How long has this been going on for? My god, almost 20 minutes now. Now then, as the new headmasters, we have for you bastards... A wonderful prize. Now he's all into it now. 
Uh, um, let's see what the prize is this time. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Death the Kid. I had a feeling it was more junk. We didn't need more junk. We had way too much anyway. And its name is Kibo. Shut the fuck up. Now you've gone too far. Everyone, we can't allow this kind of intolerant language. I agree. Only so much because I, I hate right now, you're on fucking the cunt. An amazing adventure no fighting. Everyone has to get along. Use this prize to explore the new areas together. Also, we've hidden another flashback light somewhere too. I hope you all grow even closer now that you've gained more of your memories. That's a good plot twist. Jeez, those cups suck. Monokuma was way better. Damn it. I got too much pride as a human to let those robots push me around. The world would be a better place if robots didn't exist. They should all be destroyed. Dude, have you seen 2B? The fuck are you talking about? We need more of her. I've recorded your entitlement remarks and will report them to the proper authorities. <laughs> That's probably not a bad idea. Kokichi seems to be the um, genocidal type. Hey, so what are we gonna do? If we use this junk, we can open up new places, but. Yay! A new area means we can all have a lot more fun. Reminds me of. That was the exact same pose that. Was it Hiori? No, not Hiori. No, was it Hiori? No, 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 no. God damn it, I'm forgetting names. From Danganronpa 2, she was the ultimate traditional dancer. The little girl with the blonde hair. Oh, I forgot what her damn name is. Oh, actually, hold on a second. Hold on, actually, actually let me see. Hiyoko, that was her name. Yeah, that was, that was the same pose Hiyoko had in Dan So not only other, I, I actually know what I brought up before. I actually already, already brought it up that they reuse um, poses. All right, I, I don't know. Considering how many unique poses there are throughout the, all three games, I mean, I suppose reusing a couple of them isn't too bad, but it's, it's just noticeable to me. I don't know if we'll have that much fun. I find myself more interested in the flashback light. Perhaps I'll recall the school's secret. Yeah, I agree. I kind of want to see what that is. Okay. If that's the case, then we'll deal with Murder Girl later. Listen up. Hey, bro. I'll leave this to you again. Do a good job, all right? Got it. Gonta protect you. If you find dangerous place, come get good guy Gonta. Good guy Gonta will protect you. But... Yeah, all that aside, what are we gonna do with that thing? Ask him about Junko. Um, let's just leave him here. I guess. We all just left. Uh, I suppose I should go try out these items around the school like last time. Yo. Uh, okay. I don't mind, but... Hmm, you don't mind, but... What? No. It's just that when we were talking about Maki, you looked really upset. Ah. Well, yeah. I can't believe she's an assassin. Well, that's... I can't believe it either. She doesn't seem like she could be some terrifying assassin. Well, assassins aren't always... What is your idea of assassin, exactly? 
I mean, an assassin doesn't have to be a big scary guy. Like, uh, an assassin doesn't have to be Agent 47. Like, have you seen Assassin's Creed? Like, everyone in that game is always unassuming, for the most part. Ezio's clothing is a bit showy. And Connor kind of stands out a bit. But someone like Altair, like, his, his clothing... At least as far as I can see, like, it, at least it seems like Ubisoft purposely designed his clothing, uh, these, the assassin's robes in general, to mimic the, the looks of priests. So, like, when you, so that's why you can easily sneak into a city using some priests as a, as a blend spot. Uh, what, what I'm getting at is that, like, someone like Altair acts very reserved for the most part, unassuming, doesn't draw attention to himself. Agent 47, on the other hand, now I haven't played this as um, the um, Hitman games exactly, but he's a big, tall guy, and he's fairly intimidating himself. But those games too also have you sneaking around and trying to kill people, hide bodies, do what, do what you can to get to your objective and kill your target. I, I, I get that much, but like I think that there's kind of a difference between Agent 47 and Altair, just their their physical appearances at least. But again, I don't know anything about Hitman, really, so for all I know, maybe Agent 47 himself actually is pretty unassuming, keeps to himself more often. Like, I don't mean doing his jobs, I mean just a period. In general, he doesn't talk much. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway. Ha! Terrifying, huh? Either way, leave annoying Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. Right. For, a second, th for a second, I thought he was going to say the same thing as he did before, but he had some new dialogue there. You okay, Junko? Or Monokuma, I guess. I'm not going to bother. It could be that Junko, or who, I guess whoever is controlling Monokuma, Mukuro? Did she somehow survive? Could just be half in shock, half reformulating their plans, trying trying to regroup against the, the rebelling mono cubs. There are a lot of different weapons here. Maki knows how to handle all of these. Uh, hammers, I guess. I can't. I really can't tell what most. Okay, okay, hammers, knives. Um, those are guns over there, I think. Black case. What is this? There are three black cases lined up. Do they all have weapons inside? They might. Firearms. Whoa. I exclaimed in awe at the sheer number of guns lined up. They can't be real. No, of course they're unreal. They're airsoft guns. Well. Uh, of course, Monokuma wouldn't give us real weapons. Exosos may be strong, but if we were to re revolt with these guns, with real guns, Monokuma would never allow that. To be honest, I, they probably are real. But at the same time, I think Monokuma is betting on Maki not actually using them. There might not even be ammunition around, honestly. If these weapons were real, and if Lovely Kurumi were here, she might have taken us all out in order to escape uh, for her people. Good point. Different weapon shelf or okay. Kinda of surprised you can't do anything about the firing range in the background, but Alright, let's go. What else does the school have to offer? Ugh, what? What do you want? 
If a new area opens up, that means more fun for everyone. Atua and I will cooperate so everyone can have a super fun school life. Shut up. Atua sees everything, everyone, even what everyone truly desires. For you to be murdered? Huh? What everyone truly desires? Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? That's right. Atua is always watching over me. I feel like Andrew's getting more and more, and more creepy. Ugh. Good guy going to and I leveled up. You okay, man? Um. Going to? What's wrong? Oh. Sorry. Going to think he's see bug. Uh, um. Yeah, you've said that before. Is it a bug that you can barely see? Mm. Yeah. Don't you feel like he can see it sometimes? Hmm. But don't by Gonta can barely see it. It's probably a mistake. Gonta. Cause Gonta wish there were bugs here, so uh so Gonta just make mistake dust for them. Is that really the case? We're going to make that mistake more than once. Allow Gonta. Anyway, if you find dangerous area, come get Gonta. Good guy Gonta will protect you. I know he means well. I'm hesitant to ask him to be a shield. Something tells me that whole sea of bug things will come into play later on. Also, who do you think will win the fight? Gonta or Sakura? Or maybe Nekomaru? Like, out of the three of them, who would win? Battle Royale between the three of them. Oh, the keys with the door there. Too much is happening all at once. It's just too much for me. Ryoma's case was a shock, but then to find out Kirumi ran the country and Maki's an assassin? Yeah, I know. An average citizen like me can't keep up. I'm not sure the ultimate cosplay can be considered average. I'm glad I'm an average citizen. If I ever had a reason to live as, as strong as Kirumi's, or if I ever lost everything important to me like Ryoma did. If anything like that happened, I probably would have just cowered in a corner somewhere. Putting aside whether what Kirumi or Ryoma did was right or wrong, I think it's amazing they were even able to do anything at all. For people like them to die in this place, it's, ju it's just not fair. Ah. <sighs> They definitely had interesting lives. I don't recall. Did, did they ever actually say what Ryoma did to get thrown in prison? Or do I have to go do his friendship route to find out? Humanity is beautiful. Every part of every human being, even their ugly sides, is beautiful. There is no limit to beauty. Lovely Kirumi. She too had her own exceptional beauty. Excellent. A crime that was bold yet calculated. A battle against the truth. He really is a Rochimaru. Brutally killing others for her beliefs. Unfeelingly sacrificing the few for the many. Wonderful. And her attachment to life and determination to live. Her attempt to escape was so very ugly. It was pathetic. Pitiful. Wretched. But it was beautiful. I had never before seen such beauty in a human being before. Don't don't look at me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have no idea what Kiyo is talking about. But in my own way, I also have Kirumi's last moments burned into my mind. Yeah. It's just mean the way she died. Someone, uh, oh, not you. Someone else is here that I can talk to. And it's, ah! Have you finally realized that everything I do, I do for you guys, please fall down a flight of stairs. Huh? What do you mean? See? Well, I did risk my life to tell everyone that, M that Maki's a dangerous murderer, didn't I? 
a dangerous murder. That, mm, it's a typo right there, I think. Speaking of which, I have no idea what she might be plotting right now. But we should join forces to stop her. I don't want another killing to happen. Shut up. Uh, I'm always thinking about what's best for you guys. Because I love each and every one of you. Does anyone else have any more dialogue to say? This is too unfair. Why are we being forced to do this killing game? Jeez, I wish someone would do something. Humanity is beautiful. The beauty of humanity I've been able to witness here has surpassed my wildest dreams. <laughs> Human beings are so wonderful. Ugh. I like hearing what everyone has to say. Even if I hate them. I too and I will cover this. Alright. Well, this clue. No. Uh, the key here is clearly to open this door, I think. They both look 8 bit. Magic key. Oh my god, it's the door to paradise! Door collapsed. It looks like we can get back to the, get to the back now. What I wonder is beyond here. Perhaps someone awaits us. I doubt it. Huh? You think? Nah. Merely a jest. Yes, this world is full of jests. A world full of jests. I suppose that's true. Jesters. A staircase. We can get to the fourth floor now. I wonder what the upper floors are like. There's nothing dangerous, right? Or is there? It's okay. Don't worry. Good guy going to protect you no matter what. I hope so. Thank you. Thanks, Gonta. That's reassuring. A tuxedo and a mask would suit you. Ha 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 ha. Tuxedo mask. Sailor Moon. I actually want to go back and watch Sailor Moon. Um, hmm? Tuxedo is essential for gentlemen, but masks too. Well, I should go. Yeah, let's 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 go and see already. Unless anyone has anything else to say. Orochimaru is missing. Oh, it opened with the magic key. So it was a magic door after all. Look, hidden passage here. Allow Gonta. If you move forward, let Gonta take point. Gonta can even check for traps. Forest family teach Gonta how to find and disarm traps, just like in Final Fantasy. In multiple ways, actually. Ugh. Anyway, you opened up. Let's go. Sure, sure. Oh, what is that? I never, I never looked into that, what, what the hell that is. Yay, right. we're gonna move forward now, time to explore. All right. I'd just like to see what everyone has to say. Spirit, praise, and beauty. This place looks abandoned. The frightening atmosphere was so oppressive, I let out a shout without realizing it. Uh, um, what is going on in here? Oh boy. 
Yeah, the music didn't change. Interesting. It is, it is, a, it is a brand new song, so. So, um, this is a made-up story, but a brutal murder supposedly took place here. Stop it! Please stop. If I hear any scary stories, I won't be able to go to the bathroom alone. Oh, don't worry, Sumagi. I'll take you to, to the bathroom. Just the two of us. In the middle of the night where there were no witnesses. Wait, that, that took a different direction than I wanted it to. Anyway. Um. Oh, but she said she, she... But she say it made up story. Does that mean it okay, right? So long. Farewell. That's it. She looks nervous. Hey. So I'm just checking, but this is a school, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, at least that's what Monokuma said. This floor doesn't seem very schooly at all, though, does it? No. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Actually. I mean, this floor's atmosphere is completely different. Like it's a whole other building. Uh. Making a building like this must have taken a lot of money and work. Well, yeah, because they've been... You, you, didn't, you didn't notice the Exosol was working outside? Exosol? Why are they called that? It's so fucking difficult to say. For me, at least. And all the research labs are amazing. How much money was put into this school? And it was all built just for us. You're right. They didn't mention the labs were so we could develop our talent. You research your talent perfect. You research your talent. Perfect it. It's kind of like a school, isn't it? It can be. Then Monokuma really wants this to be a, a school where ultimates gather? Hmm. And yet, at the same time, they're trapping us here and making us kill each other. I guess. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. We were brought here and then forced to do the killing game. Uh. Um, I don't understand at all. My plain mind has its limit. Has hit its limit. What on earth is this academy for gifted juveniles? Good guy going to? Uh, let me check the. That's not what I want. No, actually, no, no, no. That's it. No way. Actually, no. That's not it. That's it. I think we can see the labs for uh, that. That one's Angie's lab on the right. But I have no idea whose this is right here on the left. We'll see in a second. Um, this area feels spooky. Going to scare too. <laughs> it's okay. The murder story was just made up. Not just story. Going to have just have weird feeling. Maybe staying on that wall over there is blood. No. It's just a stain. It's probably just staged, you know? Huh? Staged? Um. Monokuma, or the Monocups probably just put it there to scare us. Huh? Really? So the script has been flipped, huh? Uh, um. Sumagi, does this kind of stuff bother you? Now they both have the same pose now. Uh. Well, is that that I'm okay with it? It's just when it's so overdone like this, it makes it seem fake. So I feel okay. All right then. Actually. But Gunter, you were so reliable until just now. I guess it's too early for you to wear a tuxedo and mask. Huh? Oh no, but tuxedo is essential for gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, let's just leave that. Tuxedo is essential for gentlemen. Good guy going to never gonna be gentlemen. You're fine. You're already a gentleman. All right. So let's move forward. Dude, this is like fucking every horror story that you see in um left room. Asian horror movies, and mangas. Oh, there's a ghost. You saw that, right? Candles just barely lit a dim, dusty room. This is creepy. Hard to see, too. It seems like something that would appear in an occult manga. There's a tragic feeling here. You know what? Co corpse party. That's what I'm reminded of. 
I mean, like, there are plenty of, of manga and anime that, that take place in um, decrepit schools. But Corpse Party stands out to me the most. I never did finish that game. I need to get back to it. It really does feel like something is going to pop out at you. You saw his ghost, right? The candles on the wall on the walls are all the only light in the room. There are no windows here. It get pitch black if candles go out. Ah, please don't put them out. I don't really like the dark. I can't imagine many people do. It depends on what's going on. Can I, I, I can examine the floor too. Um. Even though I said all that, it seems like something is going to jump out after all. This is like one of those old abandoned sounds of lunatics or criminals. Outlast. Batman Arkham Asylum. Yeah. To the point that I'd have expected to see a corpse burst through the w a wall and chase us. That's something to joke about. Eh, it could happen. I saw a ghost. I know I did. Nothing here. What's this room for, anyway? The floor. I can't see a fucking thing. Very barely can I can see... Yeah, if I stare hard enough, I can make something out, but like, it's super difficult to do. These floorboards feel a bit unstable. Oh. This floorboard got no nails in it. Really? Huh? Oh, yeah, that's what I said. Mm. Yeah. Floorboard just rests on top of cross piece. That's true. I suppose this is not just my imagination. What? Each floorboard is thick, and they got no gaps between them, so it's okay. I still feel unsafe about that. Good guy going to not worry about falling through the floor all of a sudden. Oh, I'm guessing it'll happen. To someone, at least. But it's pretty dark here. It's a little hard to see what see where we're stepping. And in the corner, there's a hole in the floor. So it might not be a good idea to go over there. Is there? I can very barely see it. There doesn't seem to be anything else of interest in this room. I don't, it doesn't look like there's anything important here. Just, just an empty room. Oh. It's not only empty room. You see three same looking drawers in the hall, right? Yeah, I was gonna go to them next. All those rooms empty, just like this one. And, the, and they only got candles for light too. You already saw them? Ah, so there are three of them. This is gonna come into play some, at some point. I can already see that. <clears throat> anyway, we know gotta worry. No reason we ever need to use empty room like this. You're right. True. Um. Then, can we leave soon? The darkness and the shaky floor are making me nervous. It's only a matter of time before the shutters burst open and a newspaper gets blown in. Is that scary? Well. But there were no windows, though. I don't have any reason to waste time in an empty room. Let's go then, I guess. <clears throat> cool song. They're all empty? Let me see. I mean, I believe them. I, I just want to see. There's Monokuma. Ah, I see. This room, this is exactly like the other room. It's really dim, so it's difficult to move around. I can see a gap in the corner. I should be careful. All right, let's go. Well, all right, let me see the last one, just, just for the hell of it. Ah, there's Mono Kid. Gavin Corner. Alright. 
Yeah, just put me right here. Well, I mean, there's nothing else, I suppose. So why not? Okay, nothing new. All right. So let's move forward then. Okay, to nothing. What is this? Some faux doorway? What is going on outside? Someone rubbing a motorcycle or something? Ooh. So whose is this? It's a it's a Tory gate as the symbol. Let's see. Can we Let's try and guess who, who it might be. Could be. I was thinking it was it was Korakios. Maybe. Could be Tenkos, actually. Ah. Uh. This must be a door to an ultimate lab. I wonder whose lab this is. Sh I should look inside. It's either Orochimaru's or Tenko's. Oh, Orochimaru's. It's almost like a museum or a library. It's huge and a little eerie. There are various objects stored in shelves and cases. Some of them seem very rare. It would appear this is my lab, the ultimate anthrop anthropologist's lab. Wonderful. It's so wonderful. My face contorts with glee. Not even university labs are so well stocked. Yeah, because university labs would be even better. But who brought all this stuff here? Who brought all the stuff into all into all of the other labs? I suppose there's no point in thinking about it. Nothing in this place makes sense. Level up. Wonderful. This is truly amazing. Maybe I'm from so much talk. Having to myself gives me some complicated feelings, as I am a researcher. Well, having all this stuff here for you, I mean, I don't know. It, it'll help ease your research. There's something in this case. It's a golden katana. How beautiful. A gold katana, you say? Uh, that seems familiar. Back in Danganronpa 1. It's rusted in places, but looks about a, a yard long and still sharp. Is that real gold? It's probably valuable. Aha. Uh -huh. You were drawn to that katana, I see. However, it is merely coated with gold leaf. So is the one in Danganronpa 1. Ah, so it's not made of gold. Well. That said, that katana has immense anthropo anthropological value. In certain rural areas, katanas used to defeat generals in wars are worshipped as gods. That is one such katana. It is an extremely precious relic necessary to spread... Whoa! Why are you here? Whoa! That's a super bad katana! I want to take a look-see! This fucking cunt. Suddenly popped up between us and grabbed the katana from the case. Wait, you mustn't touch it without- Don't worry, I'll be super careful with it. Your fucking chocolate covered hands. Would I lie to you? <sighs> Completely ignore Kyo's warning and achieve the sword. Now this katana is the real deal. It's even gold plated for that authentic look. Yeah, but it's not. Yeah. Hmm, I see. It could also be used as a murder weapon. Hold on. Kokichi, that is an extremely precious relic. Please do not treat it lightly or treat it so lightly, or. Please don't. Okay, I get it. Please don't make such a, such scary threats. 
Uh, he slid the sword back into its sheath and slid and handed it back to Kiyo. Ew, my hands are all sticky. That gold plating flicks off so easily. I guess that's what makes it an authentic katana. No, it's not. Yes, it is very old, so the gold leaf comes off easily. In any event, please do not touch things without permission. These are all precious relics. I get it. The scary threats really aren't necessary. So that's what Orochimaru sounds like when he gets angry. Are you still here? Wonderful. I don't see if it says. I just want to see if you would say something else. Why are you here? <laughs> this is the first time I've seen Kyo get so mad. He's scary when he's mad. If you tear up my nerves, I think I might cry. There's a book in the display case. The bookcases were full of books, but I imagine this one is special. Hmm. This one looks like it was bound by hand. Can it truly be? Unlike his usual quiet self, Kiyo shouted and ran over to me with an alarmed expression. With steady, careful hands, he took the book from its showcase. Incredible. It is. How amazing. It's actually real. Um, what is that book, Kiyo? Uh, it is an extremely precious document. He is pale and, as hell and sweating like hell. This book is a history of the fabled Cage Dog Village said to have been destroyed long ago. The Cage Dog Village? That kind of sounds familiar, but I'm probably mistaking it for something else. Yes. The Cage Dog Village had a reputation for using many dark arts and spells. The village was destroyed at the hands of a feudal lord who feared their power. But one girl, the lone survivor, risked her life to write this book. Wonderful. Which means, this is all her handwriting. This book is an extremely precious, one-of-a-kind relic that has been soaked in her bitter grudge. One-of-a-kind? That is valuable. I see, yes. On top of that, since the book has such a reputation, there are few copies. What reputation? Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of those copies, I have already memorized it. But I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Uh, um... Uh, Kyo, what did you mean by reputation? Yes. The rumor goes that the spells and dark arts inscribed in this book are extremely potent. However... They surpass the comprehension of people who live in a world of science and technology. That is why it was buried in the darkness, along with the entire cage dog village. But it seems those were no more were no mere rumors. I can feel power seeping out from this book. The deep-seated grudge of a girl whose village was destroyed permeates every letter. This is getting weird. I think I should just end the conversation. <laughs> I kind of want to know more, honestly. Bookshelf. It's packed with books and scrolls. They're all weathered and old. That's true. I don't think I could read all of these if I had a million years. Oh, you're a slow reader then. And last thing, I guess. Dog statue. Cage dog statue? There's a large wooden dog statue on the pedestal. It looks pretty old. It has some kind of strange power to it. It makes me shiver just looking at it. Could it be? That's... Incredible. Oh. Can it be? I never would have dreamed that this truly existed. Keo, quivering with excitement, reached out to that particular dog statue and slowly removed the white fabric on the pedestal. Uh, can this be? Oh, there's even a cage. This is perfect. Uh, um... Perfect? For what? What are the statue and cage for? 
I never thought I would be able to touch the real thing in my in all my life. Today is a momentous day indeed. He's so focused that he's not even listening. I feel as though the only thing I've learned that is that I've learned nothing about this lab. Listen. By the way, Shuichi, would you like to lend your ear to the voices of the dead? Not particularly. Why? Huh? The what? Do you understand? The cage dog vi village documents contain many dark arts unique to that village. Of all of them, the one I find most interesting is a seance called the Cage Child. Yes. In fact, the wooden dog statue and iron cage over there used to be in this very seance, or, or to be used in this very seance. <laughs> to discover it exists is surprising enough, but to actually have it before me. You see. So, would you like to try? Let us converse with the dead using the caged child, shall we? No. Uh, no thanks. I don't have any, any interest in the occult. Mm -hmm. Now, now. You mustn't dismiss it as simply the occult. Some matters you prefer to as the occult are of the utmost importance to anthropology. Dismissing things you don't understand as the occult is a defilement to all cultures, yes? Not necessarily. No. Uh, yes, but talking to the dead. Say. Haven't you ever wanted to speak with the dead? Huh? Well, you got me there. I have some questions I'd have for certain people. What would General Washington think of the country right now if he could see it? Speak with the dead. And let me guess. Kaede? If we're possible, I suppose. I'd like to talk to her one more. No. No, I decline. Okay. Even if it were possible to speak with the dead, I'd have nothing to say. Not yet. The only thing I want to say is, we escaped. We finally got out of here. <laughs> that determination is beautiful. Perhaps you are correct. Calling on the dead out of curiosity would only be a blasphemy. Forgive me. I hmm? lost myself. One must call on them only at the appropriate time. I felt a shiver up my spine. Well. Good talking to you, Orochimaru. Who also resurrects the dead sometimes. I just want to see what's down this hallway. It's like a, like a blood filled swamp. Yeah. Hanging scroll. What is this? It's like a hanging scroll, but it's blank. That'll come in handy, I'm sure. What's that, I guess? Ugh. Ah, Alright, so we're gonna fucking do... No nickname and she's... Um, lab next. I'm probably doing that right now, though, so... We'll call it a day here. And I'll talk to you guys later.